kids, let's talk about Cytosis, a cell biology game by Genius Games. It plays two to five players, takes 60 to 90 minutes, and is for ages 10 and up. And in this game, you're basically going to be in the human body as a cell. And you're going to be formulating proteins and lipids and receptors and other cool things in this worker placement style game. It plays those five players, and depending on the number of players, how many workers you get, which will be shown based on these cute little flasks here. And you're just trying to score as much HP or points as you possibly can as you go throughout the events. Each event is going to signal the end of a round, and depending on the number of players, how many events will take full, take place. On the first phase of the game, all you're going to be doing is placing down one of your workers onto the board, gaining certain things like mRNA, proteins, lipids, and carbohydrates, as well as potentially ATP. And then you can also do things like placing your cells down, providing those certain things onto the cell, and moving them down the track to then create certain things, right? And as you create things, you're going to be placing those cards such as for instance alcohol detoxification or maybe a protein hormone and these will go in front of you to score points at the end of the game the more of these cards you score the more hp you're going to gain and the more likely you are to win the game at the end of 12 rounds in a five player game it's a bit of an educational game on one side it's a bit of a board game on the other side or a full board game on the other side but it mixes them together this is one of those games like if you've seen any other reviews from genius games that uh, explains a little bit of something like uh, how to uh, enact the periodic table, Einstein and his great works. This one kind of deals with biology and cells and whatnot while playing a worker placement game. Well, let's go down below. I'll show you what comes in the game. Uh, the basic idea of how a turn works, and then I'll tell you what I think about it and whether or not you want to pick it up. And if you do, description below. So here's Cytosis, and it's set up for five players. And the board is the most important thing when it comes to the number of players because it tells you whether it's going to be a two-player game or three or more. And I have it set up for a three or more-sided board, but you can flip it over and play the two-player game if you'd like to instead. These are cell component cards. You're going to shuffle the deck and deal out four onto these locations here. Just place the cards like so. Also, go ahead and take the two gray flasks and place them on the gray flask area. For every player who's playing, take their colored token and place it on zero HP. This board will go all the way around up to 50. The rest of the board can be left blank for the game. Uh, also, depending on the number of players is how many goals are going to be out in the game. Right now for a five player game, there's five goals, which means that there is one goal left over. So you can simply remove that. You won't be using it for this game. And also depending on the number of players is how many events will take place because there's two phases to the game. Phase one is where you're playing your workers out and phase two is where you're gonna go ahead and draw one of these cards and see what's going to affect the changes for the next round. Go ahead and also separate the different types of uh, mRNA, proteins, lipids, carbs, and of course ATP in little piles. These little markers here can count as five of these guys here, so they're basically worth a little bit more, so if you ever run out, you can use these markers instead. In a five-player game, you're likely to use all your single ATPs, so just leave the fives in a little pile. Additionally, in a five-player game, normally um, you're going to have more of these little flasks to use, but because it's a five player game there's less flasks which are your workers so set aside the ones they tell you to set aside because you won't be using those either this is the first player marker it's a big nice little chit you can set it next to the player who wants to go first maybe the first person who wants to become a biologist or maybe even is one deal out cell component cards to each player three of them and then allow them to choose two and discard one so in this case each of these players is going to go ahead and discard one of these cell component cards and put it back into the cell component deck and uh, then they're going to have two cards that they're going to be able to use throughout the game until they gain more from this area here. Every player is going to get their flasks. They're going to get these markers. These are the ones that are addition to these ones over here. They're going to get ATP based on how many... Um, what, 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 what place they're in. So in this case, actually, this player would be first. Two, two ATP for the first player, three for the second, four for the third, and so on and so forth. And then in addition, each player will get to choose between these black and yellow cubes in any combination of two. The last thing you'll need to know about setup is every player is going to get two of these cells that will be placed on the board, either here or here, depending on what you're trying to build throughout the game. After that's ready to go, then you're ready to begin phase one of the game. And phase one of the game is pretty simple. In turn order, each player is going to take one of their flasks and place it anywhere on this board. 
And after that, they'll do whatever it says to do, and then it'll move on. Every player will do that. Then it will go around one more time, in which case there's no more flasks left. And when there's no more flasks, phase two will happen. And phase two is pretty simple. You'll draw an event card, do what it says, or leave it on the board, and then continue with whoever the first player is, which may or may not change. Let's go ahead and talk about the board a little bit, and we'll talk about the goal cards, and then we'll basically come up, because that's pretty much the idea of the game. Over here is whether or not you'll be the first player. So obviously you somebody starts as the first player, but if somebody were to choose this space over here they would get either an ATP or they'd gain the goal marker and become the next first player for the next round after the event card has been drawn and in addition they can take one of their little tokens here and place it on any of these goal cards and you can only have two active during any game and once you've chosen the spaces that's it if you're the first person on the card you can get three points and if you're the second person on the card you'll still be able to gain the bonus at the end of the game each card has a bonus along with a starting bonus of just placing your token on there so first come first served and best served uh, and these all do different things whether it says gain an additional two points for every protein hormone you complete during the game or maybe something like gain an additional three points for each steroid hormone receptor you complete during the game once you have your two little markers on these you're not going to need to worry about them anymore but maybe you want to place this just to get atp or to become the next first player over here is the nucleus and if you place here or here it'll give you three or two mrna if you place over here on the smooth ER, you'll gain either three or two lipids, which are the yellow cubes. And then you're going to have these spaces here, the rough ER and the alcohol detoxification steroid hormone synthesis. Allowing you to basically place on either of these spaces or this single space will allow you to then place one of your little cell tokens either here or if you're placing here over here. You can only place on one of the two spaces. If it's full, it's full. You can't place here. So if these spaces are full, you won't be able to place a, your, little, uh, your little worker here. But if you want, and you want to place this here, you can then place this cell here. And in addition to that, you can place any, turn any black cubes you may have into red cubes and then place them on this specific cell. And the same can be said for this side, but instead you'll just be placing yellow cubes onto the cell here. And the reason why you want to do that is because you're going to be moving down this he area here to the Golgi apparatus and then to the plasma membrane, which will allow you to make alcohol detoxification or protein hormones or even steroid hormones, which will score you points at the end of the game. If we continue down here, we'll notice that if you had one of these guys here, and let's say that you had, oh, I don't know, uh, let's say that you had three uh, red on this one here. So you placed, you turned the black into red, placed them on here. On your next worker, if you placed it here, this would move down, and those spots are limited in this area as well. And this says that you can convert any green to yellow or any yellow to green and uh, place them on this area here. So if you're able to, uh, you can, if you have a green, you can go ahead and place this here. And then on, on your next worker, if you had one, you can go ahead and place that there. And that basically will convert this. So it says that you can spend the requirements from the cell in addition to whatever ATP costs to then gain the card. And it has to be from your hand. So let's just go ahead and say that one, the, the, the green player here had this card here. He could, or sorry, this card here. He could then play this card from his hand, spend the three red and the one green, as well as four ATP. So you have to have the uh, ATP as well. And then he put this in front of him and gain nine health. And when you gain nine health, you just move yourself up on the tracker just like that. So that is basically how it works. So you'll be seeing your little cell go all the way through here until the very end, which will give you points or HP, depending on how you look at it. Uh, so that is basically how this functions. You can have multiple cells going on, but you won't be able to transfer if, every, if things are blocked. Over here is the uh, mitochondria. And that gives you ATP. So you can get three or two, depending on where you place this guy. And like I said, if any spaces are blocked, they're blocked and you can't place there. Additionally, you could place this guy here, trading in one of your green uh, carbs into six ATP. So you have to have a green in order to do that. The other place here is the carb, the plasma membrane, which you can spend one ATP for one green. You can do that once, or if you place it on the two, you can spend two for two for two. This side over here is a cytoplasm, which basically if you have something like, oh, uh, I don't know, this guy here. No, not this guy here. Let's see if I can find one. You need an enzyme synthesis. So you have to look in here for one. Here is an enzyme right here. If you have the requirements for this, which is one green and two red and three ATP, you could place your marker here, spend the requirements, and then put this in front of you. That will score you points, along with, of course, there's end of game bonuses on some of these cards here as well. And only one can be placed here at any one point in any one round. Over here is a free ribozyme, which can let you turn black into red. And then finally is these gray flask markers here. If on you if it's your turn and you have four 
of your ATP, you can spend four to take this guy and then place it on the board as a bonus worker of sorts, allowing you to gain whatever benefit that is, or it has, and then of course at the end of the round it's just going to go back, so only two can be used at any one point in a, two, a, a five player game, or a three plus player game. And that's pretty much it. All the workers will be placed down from all of the players, and uh, you're going to go on to the next round. The only other thing I didn't really exp explain are these things here. You can place your little workers here. This one lets you take this card for free and put it in your hand. This one costs one ATP, this one costs two, and this one costs three. That's how these cards go into your hand. These cards will also slowly fall off the board, and you'll be putting more of them down on the board. When you pick up one, you'll put a new one down. So these little things will be everly constantly changing. So after all the workers are done, we're going to move on to the next phase, which is going to be the event phase. And we're going to flip over one of these cards and see what it does. This one says you're going to add one additional carbohydrate cube, one green, to the glucose transporter this round. So if you'll see, it'll tell you where the glucose transporter is, and you'll get one extra green for doing so. So in one ATP, we'll give you two green, and then you can spend two for four. So this becomes pretty valuable. And then this card will move to the side, so you remember that we have that for the round. Players will get all of their workers back and continue. Now, if somebody obviously took the first player marker, the first player marker will change to a player that uh, placed their little lab token here, or their worker here. If not, if no one went here, then the same first player will get to go first, and it will keep going clockwise around the board. And that will happen until the final event card is drawn. So basically in a five player game, 12 rounds will go through. It will finish up with one more round after this to uh, let you place your workers down. And then you're going to tally up all the points in front of you. So for instance, if a player had something like this and this and this, and they had one of their character, one of their guys on here, they'd score six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 points, just, or not 11 points, sorry, they would score points from here that they probably already marked down the board as the game goes on, and then they would check down here to see. So the player with the most of these is gonna score a certain amount, second most and third most. Over here, it's based on how many of these that you have, and then additionally over here you'd score points, meaning you get an additional point for each cell component card you completed this game. So I've completed three of them, so I gained three points. And then finally, you're gonna score points based on these guys here that you have that you did not spend. And it tells you in the book here what the value is. So it'll say if you have four of the mRNA, that's one point, four yellow lipids, that's one, three reds is one, and two greens is one point as well. And then you're gonna look at your HP and whoever has the highest marker along the board. So if somebody's here at 41 and everybody else is down past that, the player with the most points is going to be the winner of the game, Cytosis, a cell biology game. It's a worker placement game with education. All right, let's come up and talk about it. Cytosis brings biology and fun together into a board game. Genius Games does that with a lot of their games and I've enjoyed every one I've played so far just because of the simplicity, yet the ability to add strategy and of course the ability to learn as well in every single one of their games even though they're things that I probably should remember from high school I have basically learned something or remembered something that I probably should still remember and this game does that especially with cells you learn how they are constructed what they are made up of and what they end up making as well as the ability to uh, utilize mRNA and all that good stuff so it's it's kind of cool how it all functions and anybody who's in high school is definitely going to be I think into this game. Most people who have kids in high school that are in biology and whatnot are learning about cells. This would be a really cool game to explain to them. It gives them good concepts of how cells function, as well as it's a ton of fun. This is a gateway style worker placement game with some interesting caveats. One of which being that you have to place uh, the first starting spot and the second and move it along, adding certain things to the cells to then become the thing that you want from your hand to score points, which is health. And that's basically the better your cells produce, the more HP you gain. Just kind of a nice twist on the educational system. The goals are a nice addition to making you want to become the first player and want to become the first player sooner, which is going to then be able to let you place on these goal cards to give you points from the beginning as well as at the end of the game. But of course, being the first player at the end, first player at the end of the game, you might not get to choose your best spaces. But on the other hand, it's something that's very important to have. So you kind of have to choose your first player markers wisely because otherwise it's only worth one ATP or the first player marker you don't have to place on the goal card once you run out. So you're like, I don't know if I want to place there anymore now. Maybe I'll just let the person keep it that has it because they spent theirs last. It's kind of, I don't know, up to you. The fact that you can also gain extra bonus workers by spending additional resources is a nice way of changing up the game as well as the fact that because ATP has no value at the end of the game, you might 
might want to use those up if you have no use for them as far as making certain things like the enzyme cards and the proteins and all that good stuff. There's also cards in the game that when you play them down, allow you to score points when your opponents play cards. They're not very valuable, but at the beginning of the game, if you utilize them, then you're going to score a lot of points with them because other players are going to also want to play those cards. And they also work into a kind of educational faction. Anyway, this game is a lot of fun. If you haven't played a lot of worker placement games and you want something that's educational and you want something that's fun, I would suggest Cytosis for you, especially if you've got kids that are growing up. Anybody who's 10 and up will be able to understand this game and play it pretty quickly, even with my bonkers rules explanation. I really, really like the coloration of the game. The artwork is wonderful, and it was just a lot of fun to play. I got to play this with a bunch of adults, 30 and up, and we all really enjoyed this game, and we're like, you know, if I had a kid in high school, this would be a great game to teach them, and I think that works the same way with Periodic as well, another game we get to play, but anyway, this game's fun. If you are interested in this for any reason whatsoever, you can go ahead and take a look down below in the link in the description. It got the seal of approval from the Dice Tower, so I guess that means something too, but in reality, you should just trust me. It, it's good. You'll like it. No, you, don't have to, you can ignore them if you want. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe don't ignore them. But, but you know, include me and them. Yeah. It, it's good. Just, just get the game. If, if, 